to verify the Gauss's divergence theorem for this f vector taken over rectangular parallel pipe where x is greater than or equal to 0 less than or equal to a and y is greater than or equal to 0 less than or equal to b and z is greater than or equal to 0 less than or equal to c. So let s denote the surface of the rectangular parallel pipe and let v be the region enclosed by the surface, right? Now since f vector is given to us that is x square minus y z i plus y square minus z x j plus z square minus x y k right and to use the Gauss's divergence theorem just find the divergence of f first so therefore the divergence of s is the dot product of this del with f vector writing this f vector here and now let's take the dot product okay first we get del by del x of x square minus y z plus del by del y of y square minus z x plus del by del z of z square minus x y. So derivating this with respect to x we get 2x plus from here we get 2y and from here we get 2z. In the two common so this is 2 into x plus y plus z. Now using the Gauss's divergence theorem the surface integral of dot product of f vector with n vector ds that is equal to the volume integral of divergence of f so writing here the volume integral of okay divergence of f vector is twice sum of x y and z dv right so this is further equal to twice the volume integral of x plus y plus z and writing here dx dy dz limits are given to us so limits of x is from 0 to a for y it is 0 to b for z it is 0 to c so first integrating this integrand with respect to x we get this is twice the double integral and now integrating this with respect to x we get x squared divided by 2 plus y x plus z x and the limits from 0 to a and dy dz. Putting the upper limit we get a squared by 2 plus a y plus a z minus putting the lower limit we get 0 dy dz. And now integrating this integrand with respect to y. So this is twice the integral from 0 to c. Integrating this with respect to y, we get a square y divided by 2 plus a into y square divided by 2 plus a y z. And the limits from 0 to b, dz. Putting the upper limit, we get a square b divided by 2 plus then a b square divided by 2 plus a b z minus putting the lower limit, we get 0. And now integrating this with respect to z we get twice a square b z divided by 2 plus a b square z divided by 2 plus a b z square divided by 2 and the limits from 0 to c. Putting the upper limit we get a square b c divided by 2 plus a b square c divided by 2 plus a b c square divided by 2 and then putting the lower limit we get 0 so this is equal to cancelling this 2 we get a square b c plus a b square c plus a b c square taking a b c common we get a plus b plus c so this is the required answer for this surface integral and now we need to evaluate the surface integral directly right and check whether we are getting the same answer or not. So evaluating the surface integral directly and these are the x, y, z axis and marking the points a, m, p and b, l, c and then origin is o. We need to evaluate the integral along all these six faces and at last we just add all the integrals together. So first over the surface o, b and a. So the surface integral of dot product of f vector with n vector ds is equal to the surface integral of I have already written the value of f vector over here and what is n vector for this surface? 
the outward unit vector drawn normal to this surface is because it is along the negative z-axis so we are writing here minus k so here we are having the dot product with minus k and when taking the dot product we get negative of z square minus x y right and okay what is ds it is dx dy so this is dx dy and the limits of x is from 0 to a and the limit of y is from 0 to b now on this surface z is 0 right so this is 0 so this is equal to the double integral from 0 to a 0 to b as z is 0 on the surface o b and a so integrand is now negative x y and also i'm having negative sign over here so that becomes positive x y dx dy very fine okay separating the integrals integrating with respect to x we get x square by 2 at the limit 0 to a integrating with respect to y we get y square by 2 and the limits from 0 to b so this is equal to a square by 2 minus 0 and this is b square by 2 minus 0 that gives us a square b square divided by 4 and marking this as 1 let me mark this as star further let's calculate the surface integral over this surface which is opposite to the surface o b a n so for this the outward unit vector drawn normal to the surface is because it is along the z-axis so this is taken to be as k vector and ds is same it is dx dy if your n vector is along the z-axis just take ds to be dx dy if the unit vector is along x-axis just take your ds to be dy dz skipping this x remember like this if your unit vector is along y-axis Take your ds to be dx dz right okay so for this surface the unit vector is along z axis that is k vector so i'm taking ds to be dx dy and one thing more on the surface what is the constant value of z it is c on this surface right so the surface integral of dot product of f vector with n vector ds is equal to the surface integral of f vector is already written over here and taking its dot product with n vector and for plcm we have taken n vector to be k vector so this is equal to the double integral when taking the dot product we get sorry here also k vector with this third component okay when taking the dot product we get z square minus x y dx dy limits for x 0 to a and for y it is 0 to b and on this surface z is equal to c so writing here c for z so it is c square minus x y dx dy integrating this integrand with respect to x first we get 0 to b integral okay so this is c square x minus x square y divided by 2 limits 0 to a dy. When putting the upper limit, we get a c square minus a square y divided by 2 and then minus. Putting the lower limit, we get 0. So we need to integrate this with respect to y further. So this is a c square y minus a square y square divided by 4 minus a square y square divided by 4 limits from 0 to b putting the upper limit we get a b c square minus and then a square b square divided by 4 minus 0 so marking this as 2 and now integrating over the surface o b l c an outward unit vector draw normal to the surface is along the negative x axis so this is minus i and because the unit vector is along the negative x-axis, whether negative or positive, just you take your ds to be equal to dy dz. For both the x's, we take ds to be dy dz, right? And on the surface, x is 0. Very fine. So here, n vector is negative i vector. 
So double integral, taking the dot product, we get this x square minus yz with negative sign. And ds is dy dz limits from 0 to b, 0 to c. Right? x is 0 on the surface. So this becomes when x is 0, negative negative becomes positive. So it is yz dy dz separating the integrals we get. 0 to b y d y 0 to c z d z so when taking the integral we get for this we get y square by 2 from 0 to b for this we get z square by 2 from 0 to c so when putting the limits we get b square by 2 minus 0 and multiplied with c square by 2 minus 0 that becomes b square c square by 4 marking this as 3 and now solving the surface integral over this surface, which is opposite to the green colored one. And here the outward unit vector draw normal to the surface is along the x-axis, positive x-axis. So writing here i cap. And ds becomes dy dz. And on the surface, the constant value of x is a. So here it is i vector. And the double integral, when taking the dot product, we get x square minus yz dy dz limits from 0 to b and 0 to c. And on the surface, x is equal to a. So this is a square minus yz dy dz. Integrating this with respect to y, we get this is a square y minus y square z divided by 2. 0 to b limits and here it is dz. Putting the upper limit we get a square b minus b square z divided by 2 minus 0 that's okay. And now integrating this with respect to z we get a square b z minus b square z square divided by 4 from 0 to c. So that becomes a square b c minus b square c square divided by 4 minus 0 so, marking this as 4. Then over the surface OCMA and the outward unit vector draw normal to the surface is along negative y axis. So, this is minus j. And taking ds to be yes, dx dz. The unit vector is along the negative y-axis. So ds is dx dz and here on the surface y is 0. So here it is negative j. So double integral when taking the dot product we get negative sign and y square minus zx. Second component and ds is dx dz and the limits from 0 to a and 0 to c. And on this surface, y is 0. So when this is 0, the negative negative sign becomes positive. So we need to integrate zx only, dx dz. Separating the integrals, and we get, integrating this with respect to x, we get x square by 2 from 0 to a, and here we get z square by 2 from 0 to c. Putting the limits, we get a square by 2 into c square by 2 that is a square c square by 4 marking this as 5 and now along the surface opposite to this that is this one and here outward unit vector draw normal to the surface is along the y-axis so this is j cap and here ds is the same dx dz and on this surface the constant value of y is b And when taking the dot product, we get y square minus xz, right? And this is dx dz. Limits from 0 to a, 0 to c. And on the surface, the constant value of y is b. So writing b for y, so this is b square minus xz. 
Integrating first with respect to x, we get b square x minus x square z divided by 2 from 0 to a dz. So putting the upper limit, we get b square a minus a square z divided by 2 minus the lower limit that is 0. So now integrating this with respect to z. So that is b square a z minus a square z square by 4 with limits from 0 to c. So putting the upper limit, we get b square a c minus a square c square divided by 4. Putting the lower limit, we get 0. So this is b square a c minus a square c square divided by 4, marking this as 6. And now we need to add all these 6 integrals, right? All these 6 integrals, we get... The surface integral of dot product of f vector with n vector ds equals to, okay. From 1 and 2, we get a square b square by 4 and this one, a b c square minus a square b square by 4. From 3rd and 4th, we get b square c square by 4 and this one. From 5th and 6th, we get a square c square by 4 and this one. So these two cancelled out, these two cancelled out and these two cancelled out. And we get a b c square plus a square b c plus a b square c. Taking a b c common we get a plus b plus c. That's it. And this is same as that of what we have got in star. Right. So hence it is verified. So hence the verification. Alright, thank you. Stay blessed. Now the beautiful thought of the day. When you smile, not only you feel happy, but you also bring ray of light into the lives of others. So keep smiling. Thank you.